Fears about ISIS have prompted U.S. military bases around the country to raise their terror threat level. They are operating under Force Protection Bravo, the third highest threat level. And that means tougher security and identity checks at the Presidio of Monterey. Action News reporter Bryn Whitaker is live with more on the precautions. Erin, that new threat level came as the Defense Language Institute prepared to welcome thousands of visitors for their annual Language Day event. But today, those guests were met with enhanced security measures. There are a lot of people here for sure. Uh, we brought out extra security. Uh, everyone is screened. We have entry and exit control points. It's probably more secure today than on a normal day even though there are a lot of people. A combination of teams, local city police, national police, and military personnel made the Defense Language Institute's Language Day go on as planned. It's not really a concern. Our, our threat levels don't necessarily determine our posture. We're always at a very high posture here. So people coming and going on the base probably won't notice a large change or, or a dramatic change in our, in our posture. Visitors to the Presidio had to RSVP to get in, went through bag checks before getting onto the post, and vehicle inspections. This is all precautionary. No threats were made towards the Presidio or DLI. We're responding to a national level increase, so it's nationwide, uh, and certainly no one needs to be freaked out about it. Uh, these things tend to go up and come down. This is one where it's gone up. The threat didn't stop DLI students from putting on a show. Students and faculty members performed dances from their home countries, seeing today as a break from all their studying. We spend eight hours a day learning the language. Um, so this is a fun activity. It's like a field day like what you do in high school. Um, so it's a little break for us, a little downtime so we can relax and get prepared for the next week. It really opens up the community to like different cultures here. and. Uh, you know, just helps people have more of an open mind about something they didn't know about before. The Presidio will continue business as usual, even with this heightened threat level. Local police will continue to patrol the post. I'm Bryn Whitaker, KSPW Action News 8.